Hello students. So today we are going to start new chapter of science that is chapter 5 eating habits of animals. You already know that living things need food to survive. Food provides energy to carry out various activities of life. You also know that plants can make their own food but animals cannot. Already we have seen this in our previous chapters that plants do prepare their food by their own but animals cannot. They depend on plants directly or indirectly for food. They means animals. Animals show a variety in their food and feeding habits. Based on the food they eat, animals are divided into three, three types. So the first is herbivores, second is carnivores and the third is omnivores. Now animals like cows, goats, sheep and giraffes eat grass or green, green plants. That is they only eat plants. Okay, No animals, nothing. Such animals are called plant eating animals or herbivores. Now animals like tigers, foxes and leopards eat flesh of other animals okay they only eat flesh of other animals they do not eat plants so they are called flesh eating animals or carnivores now some carnivores eat only dead animals okay jo mar gaye hai animals unhe khate hai so they are known as scavengers they are known as scavengers for example hena jackal vulture etc now animals like rats mice squirrels bears and crows eat both plants and animals okay they eat both plants and animals such type of animals are known as omnivores such type of animals are known as omnivores now we will see feeding habits of animals the feeding habits of animals depends upon their food the type of food they eat the, their habit depends on that an animal's mouth teeth and even body structure help it to eat a certain type of food okay so now let us see about herbivores today herbivores eat leaves roots grass or even tree barks they usually need to eat often during the day in order to obtain the nutrients they need. Their mouths are developed for chewing and grinding their food. They have sharp and broad front teeth called incisors to bite leaves and grass. Okay, The front teeth are known as incisors. They need to chew a lot in order to break down plant materials into very small pieces. For this reason, they have flat teeth at the back called molars. The front teeth are known as incisors and the back teeth are known as molars. These flat teeth help herbivores to chew their food easily. Animals like cow and sheep have a different way of eating. These animals first swallow their food without chewing it. Okay, they first just directly eat their food and they do not chew. Okay, after some time they bring it back into their mouth and then chew it well. This is called chewing the cud. Cud chewing animals are also called ruminants. Squirrels and rabbits eat plant or plant parts that are hard. They have a set of a very long and flat front teeth. These teeth help them to bite fruit and seeds. This is called gnawing the food. Gnawing means to gnaw means what? To bite something repeatedly or chew it hard. Now animals such as giraffes have long necks which help them to reach branches of tall trees and eat their leaves. Now, elephant use their long and thick trunks to eat food and drink water. They use their trunk 
to tear the food and place it in their mouth their trunk is strong enough to break the branches of a tree they suck up water into their trunk and then blow it into their mouth they also use their trunk to spray water on their bodies okay now elephant's trunk is very sensitive it can sense even a small blade of grass with it